guys, I am so excited because we are starting Invincible Season 2. I recently finished Season 1 and I couldn't stop myself. And I do know that there's four episodes currently and that the next, like, I believe four episodes will be released within like the first quarter of 2024. So Season 2, Episode 1, A Lesson for Your Next Life. I can't really predict who we're talking about here other than like, Mark. I feel like every it's, it's called Invincible. It's about Mark and Mar Mark's the main character, but he lives for a long time. So I don't know what they're talking about with the next life. Who is being reincarnated? What's going on here? I have no idea, but I'm so excited to start it up. If you guys are interested in watching all of my full length reactions without, without missing a single scene from any video, be sure to check out my Patreon. I'll be linking that down below in the description. But without further ado, let's get into Invincible season two, episode one. I'm guessing they're training? <laughs> I feel like they're the only ones who can properly train each other, so maybe that's why they're pairing up? Unless they actually got into a fight. Why can't you touch me? Because your father. Did, yeah. After what you did! Okay, first of all, he didn't do anything. What just happened? Yep. What? Wait, I'm so confused. Is this a dream? Why is he suddenly back? Why is he helping his son? Oh my god. Ah, uh, ah, why would you do that? Why? Why? Mark, what the hell just happened? The immortal lived for thousands of years. And we killed him three times. Three times is he dead within the last year. I thought he'd see the truth like you did. Mark? Mark banded with Nolan? You are going to be part of the Viltrum Empire now. No one goes hungry. No one dies from cancer. I didn't get it at first either. But I came around and you will come around too. The more you resist, the worse this gets. How can you blame the people? This isn't Mark. This is not Mark. You all feel like we're the bad guys because my dad and I took over your planet. First year. But I came around and you- I can't do this, are you joking? How did it get to this point? This has to be fake, right? This is fake. That's not really Mark. I don't believe that. Were you followed? The immortal led them away. That's what Rex thought too. Eve? Rex is dead? If this doesn't make Omni-Man have a bad day, happened? nothing will. How did this happen? I we were close. Hey Eve, you look good. He's such a trash bin. Why is he being like this? Robot! His body is like that again. That actually hits him. Gosh dang. Get back! What's going on? How can all of this change? Someday. Why did it turn out like this? You will die. Sure, but you should have died at birth. And he's just gonna have him slowly suffocate? Dude, this is a nightmare. Stop it, Mark. You try being a trash bin. This wasn't like you. Stop this. Or I stop you. I'd rather die. I would never kill you. <gasps> what the? Uh, she's not dead. Just paralyzed. He paralyzed her? Since you were all part of the resistance, we need to kill you. You sentenced yourself to death. When you join Club Resistance. What would Debbie think? You would. Let's would do you... this, Mark. I missed lunch because of that riot in Bangkok. What the hell was that? Eh, who cares? They're so nonchalant. Finish this off, I'm starving. <laughs> what happened? I, okay, I'm so glad I have my tissues right next to me. He paralyzed Eve. The entire team isn't even there. This has to be fake, right? I don't want to watch this show if this is how it's going to turn out. I don't have the heart to go through this. I always thought Mark was going to be a good guy. I don't know how this- that had to be like an alternate dimension or a simulation or something. I feel so discouraged. I can't go through this. I feel absolutely drained. I love that she's like, I'm still going to do my job. I don't care. He used to be so good. How could he become so heartless? His loved one paralyzing Eve just to keep her around for visitation? Just to make him feel good? 
I think I'm understanding why. That there will always be danger here. There will always be people fighting. If it comes like a territory for Viltrum, none of this would happen. People wouldn't suffer. People wouldn't be killed. That's why. Like everyone would be safe and better. The pain will never fade. Now it's all coming together, I'm understanding. In only a few short weeks, crews have been hard at work rebuilding the city. Debbie. You don't have to go back if you're not ready. Neither he looks you. so tired. Now I see why Mark did that, but he still became so heartless. And terrible. See you later, Mom. You too. Who holds a grudge this long? I said I was sorry. I don't want to eat that garbage. You should count yourself lucky there, Pete. Could have torn your arm off, ripped out your liver, made your spine into a belt. Very specific. You get back too, or you're both going hungry. You're a friend. Don't manipulate Pete. That means when we break out of here again, we don't kill you. We've got security turned up to 100 on you two. You ain't gone nowhere. Did you? Oh yeah. Oh, I should Pete, you're now. screwed. Didn't I mention that? Hurry! They're gone already. Couldn't be worse than the salmon. <laughs> around, Pete. Oh, Pete, you should have got them the good food. <sighs> Where are Where they? Are we? The scrap piles? I bet he knows. That's the portal guy that we saw earlier. <clears throat> what happened here? Don't worry. This isn't your world. Huh? My name is Angstrom Levy. This is a different planet! This was a different universe or planet, whatever. Oh, I feel so much better now. I feel so much better now. Oh, I feel so such a sense of relief. Let me guess, you can open portals between dimensions, but not within the same dimension. And why do you think that? Because we're walking. You know, I was worried, Fring, you could be a mistake. I need your help with a very specific problem. Look, I'm a pacifist. I only use my power for good. There's no one else with your scientific je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Now, I can't force you to help me, but I will leave you here forever if you don't, or somewhere worse. I miss when we only work for ourselves. You'll get there one day, probably. Mark Grace. Todd, what Todd, is it? Listen, I. Oh, Todd. Sorry, your dad got exploded. Oh, thanks, Todd. Oh, uh, thanks. Sorry, your dad got exploded? That's what you gotta say? Your dad was an okay guy, though. And he was like Jack, right? <laughs> That makes it okay. He's just making it. Todd doesn't realize he's making it. Thanks, Todd. Mark appreciates it. Oh, thanks, Amber. You saved the day. See, I'm not an asshole. I'm not an asshole. You bro you walked up to the kid and said, I'm sorry your dad got exploded. Right, Todd's right. My dad might as well be dead. That's how it feels anyway. I'm the reason all those people in Chicago died. He looks exhausted. I should be out there making up for all my mistakes. You didn't kill those people, Mark. But I didn't save them. You don't owe anyone anything. I'm not so sure. Start your day with a hot kid? BM? There's no way that was the sign. There's no way they slipped that sign in in like a, such a tense moment. I need to be out there. Hold on. I'm better. I'm stronger. I'm ready. You think I haven't been watching your early morning outings? That's why I need you. It's only been a month, Mark. I can save lives. You saved a ton of them. But you also went through an emotional tumble dryer, and I need to know your head stops spinning before I let you back in the game, so no. Cecil's so level-headed. I don't need your permission to be a superhero. You know who else said that to me? I'm not my dad. Yeah, he's still not Take okay. some time off, kid. He wants the distraction, but it's right. He needs to heal. He needs to process all of this. This thing's still going on? <laughs> it's not going well, sir. The Guardians could use some help. I thought... Invincible. I thought Donald died. I'm so confused. I thought Donald died. Didn't he die? What's happening? Debbie are my favorite bar, you piece of shit! Don't call me that! Oh, he's sensitive. And I want to be president of America and an astronaut! Oh, nice. This man has big dreams, big aspirations. I'll give him that. Based on his speech patterns and vocabulary, Giant seems to have the mental capacity of an eight-year-old. Oh! I gave him more credit than he need, than he deserved. I don't care how old he is. He needs to go down now. Did you know that's the voice of Cyborg from Teen Titans? I I heard it. I wasn't sure. I had to look it up myself, and I got so stoked. Brody! You okay? I'm not used to him being called Rudy and not Robot. Come on! 
Why are you so mean to me? You're destroying the city. Why you do that? I couldn't move. My heart was racing. Anxiety? I was all sweaty. That's fear. Oh, fear. Before all this was just a video game for you. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. Really just like too. the first time you used the toilet. I need to put my finger on her, her voice as well. Recognize this? That's one of our somatic encoders. I based it off your design. It reads, copies, and writes human minds. Except you can't get it working. But the connectome buffers crash out. You'll need twice as many processing units. How long to get it working? Not long, but two questions first. Why should we help? What do you need it for? What's in it for us? Let me appeal to your philanthropic nature. Go on. It's not a threat. It's nice for once. There's an infinite number of dimensions. Remember that world-changing battle between Omni-Man and Invincible a month ago? In most other dimensions, they teamed up and took over the planet. Is that each dimension has something unique and valuable. New ways of thinking. Philosophies of peace. That's so interesting. All our problems have been solved somewhere else. Whoa. And I can be the conduit of that knowledge. I can save billions upon trillions of lives. But saving lives isn't really our jam. What's the catch? There's a catch. There's always a catch. Meet the family. So all of them from other dimensions teamed up here? They're all alternate versions of me. Oh. They don't have my ability, but they have something almost as valuable. Intimate local knowledge of their home dimensions <gasps> that will help me figure out what they do best. I need to copy all their know-how and put it in here. Why not just ask them questions? That would take forever. Help me do this and I'll give you any single dimension you want. As long as you promise not to hurt anyone. They're, they're not We want one it. with no superheroes, good food, and a population that thinks we're God. Of course they would want that. Of course they would. He heard that. Like, mm, that's unethical. Mark, I'm home. Debbie! <gasps> Olga? What are you doing I've here? been waiting for you. Now the back door was open. You like stroganov, yes? Aren't you in Russia? Weather, coffee shops. Oh, and pizza. There's no good pizza in Moscow. None. Or Chicago. It's for shit. Italy. That's where you need to go for pizza. I know it's obvious, but it's true. <laughs> I was there just last year with, with Nolan. That is why I came to visit. She's so sweet for this. She's going to threaten her, though, maybe. Or be there for you. When I saw you with that knife, I thought, I would oh, never. Too obvious. Poison would be much better. <laughs> <laughs> I know Nolan lied to you. Both our husbands died that night. I have to go back to Moscow in a few days, but... Uh, What's this? Something that helped me. Hi, Olga. Olga made dinner. I already ate. You can't help him until you help yourself. I'm fine. That's very true. Really, Olga. What is the card? Ongoing repeated fuck-ups of monumental proportions. And we've done an analysis of your last 15 engagements and narrowed it down to a failure of leadership. Rudy? Sorry. I'm still adjusting to my new body. And I'm instituting a change. Wow, okay. The team needs more muscle. Meet Bulletproof. Ooh, new hero. Hey. Hey! What do you do? I mean, other than have the most obvious name ever. I do everything you wish you could. Ooh, and that's I love rich that. from a guy called Rex Blow. <laughs> you think of that grade school shit yourself? Or did somebody help you? I like him. I like him a lot. Come on, man. I know you're tight. Be better. I, I be, was better. be better. Be better. Yes. That. Finally, someone who takes it seriously. Two people that take it serious. He's a little concerned about Bulletproof, though. You good with that? Of course. I understand. I thought there's like a man's voice in this child's body. But like, Monster Girl has a girl's voice in a girl's body. Hey, stranger. Eve's mm. back. Life out in the woods is good. Sounds nice. This is where you tell me how you are. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be my dad. His whole life was uprooted within a month, yeah. What if I become him and I don't even know it? You did in You're most not your dad, in Mark. most dimensions. We all know that. We tracked them down to a warehouse near the harbor. We don't know what they're building in there yet. Mark, it's not a good- I'll work for you. Energy levels just went off the chart. Perfect Someone timing. get this kid an earpiece. Mark looks so weathered. He's different after going all through all of this. You know who else could have pulled this off? No one in a million different dimensions. Boom. The confidence. You two are about to change the world. And we'll connect to the other nine machines. They really thought that they could get away with this without anybody noticing. 1,000 minds synchronized. 
Mark's gonna ruin you're doing this. There's a ton of processing behind the scenes, so you remember that you're you and not them. I'm ready. They really didn't think this one through. I just want to say how excited I am that, like, two separate voice actors from, like, my favorite show, to my childhood Teen Titans, from that show, are in this show. And it makes me just feel that more attached to Invincible. I love it. I am large. Don't fight. I mean, just explain. Sitting on it and some portals and the maulers and... It doesn't matter. Make us. No, don't fight him. Don't fight him. This is not... This is not the place to fight. Uh, wait! The maulers Stop are so... Intelligent. You think that they would know not to fight near this. This is for the greater good! I've heard that before. Do not throw him. <laughs> oh, he threw a bunch of the maulers from different dimensions. Oh, that one's scary. I like that they they add a little touch. She had earrings. <laughs> oh, you stepped on his head. Stop him, but don't kill him. Oh, we're gonna do both. No, don't kill him. I won't build my utopia with blood. Stop, there's too much power. You'll kill us all. Oh, no, now everyone's dead. All because you wanted to kill Invincible. He wasn't gonna... No, it's not gonna have bloodstains on it. That's really bad. And that probably jumped into other dimensions as well. Are you injured? Huh. Does he look I injured? I really is. Look, yeah. I, I don't know what they were up to, but I'd say you stopped it pretty fucking spectacularly. Listen to Rex. There were other people here. And even the Maulers didn't deserve this. Everyone here did this to themselves. Mortal, check the site for survivors and report back to me. Understood. So the guy who had all the dimensions, got killed. Now what do we do? What do we do? He was such a good character. I, I had more for him. I feel like we could have had more. I'm fine. What happened? I'm working for Cecil now. Are you okay? No, I'm just- She's uh, been drinking a lot. Tired. He took out three plates. Some mail came for you. You first. Okay, same time. Oh, it's gonna be separate colleges. Congratulations on being accepted to Upstate University, Miss Bennett. Wait, this is yours. I got in. I got in. <laughs> They're going together. He upped his grades enough. Oh, hi, 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 immortal. Hey, immortal. I, I don't know if you heard, but I'm working for Cecil now, so. I don't trust you. Cecil thinks you're on our side. I'm not so sure. Why? Because you died twice. You got killed by his dad twice. Is that why? I'll be watching you. You, you flew all the way over here just to threaten Omni-Man's teenage son. Mm. Oh, he's okay. I told him not to take off the damn helmet. Well, you were gonna kill Invincible. <laughs> How are you even breathing? I'm... He's alive? What did he do to me? You did that to yourself. I ruined... Everything. So now he's gonna hate Invincible? You've lost track of what memories are yours. Yes. Which come from the others. They're and which Invincible memories. is right, all which one's them. evil. I need revenge. I won't rest until I'm killed! It's the last time I work for it's anyone not the last else. Time, Ever. It? Oh, dang it. I actually like that guy. I really did like him, and now he's, like, evil. He's gonna be the supervillain. We already have to deal with Omni-Man soon, not this guy, too. So, we have an insane amount to unpack here. I thought that this show was doomed. I was like, wow, it's gonna be one of those things where we're working backwards, like, that's what happened. And then the rest of the season is going to be how we got to this point. But it's so- I'm so happy to hear that this is a different dimension. So we encounter a multi-dimensional being, the one person with this power, and he tries to build a greater dimension for each one. There was a thousand of him hooked up to this big thing, the big machine, and it kind of like transported all of their memories, their feelings, their thoughts into one individual's brain. He sees Invincible, how horrible he is in other dimensions, the amount of pain and like suffering that most of him have dealt with. But it created a really dangerous villain. Mark 
Mark's not seriously gonna miss his own graduation, is he? This is why I quit superheroing. He'll be here, he promise. Look at you! You're thieves! Rapists! What is it with you and historical monuments? I don't know! To, uh, Professor Seismic, right? <laughs> Doc Seismic. Yeah, I don't know what's with you and these mon- How did you even get up there? Do you know what this obscene phallus is constructed from? Phallus! Why are uh, you speaking in- Granite! Stolen from the earth! Why are you speaking like that? Isn't that most buildings? Yeah. You can keep the ones made of wood. <laughs> Those aren't durable! You're gonna take down every single building? Meet my magma knights! They're kinda cute. They're like adorable. They're like boop boop boop. He's like having so much fun. He's like a kid at a playground. Aren't you a senior citizen, sir? How do you have all this energy? He's on. When you find yourself in the shadow of adversity, but without adversity, there There's can no be growth. no triumph. Well, true. I I graduated with such a like massive class. I didn't know the person. I've never seen the person in my entire life that was sitting next to me. Like ever. I was like, who are you? Never seen you before in my life. It was like a couple, like a thousand or something. I didn't even know there was that many people. <laughs> this guy's annoying. Nice. Go through the phallus. Oh, so all I missed were the made-up inspirational quotes? Good timing. Mm -hmm. Look at how... Bennett, okay. It's... Yeah. Look at how tired Mark looks. Like, he didn't have the bags under his eyes. Marcus Sebastian Grayson. Samantha Eve Wilkins. Sebastian? I thought we weren't keeping secrets from each other anymore. No one noticed Be that? Bold. No one noticed that? Please don't die. Be Invincible! Oh, I like expected a villain to show up and like kill him on the spot. This this show has ruined me! <gasps> Graduation party? Get together? Eve, this is dope. This is so oh, sick. No. Right now, I'm just happy helping people. Aww, Speaking I love you. of. <laughs> love having superhero friends. I mean, Eve specifically. <laughs> Mark? I'm on call. Cecil might need me. Here. Virgin Mai Tai. I don't even know what a Mai Tai is. To the best summer ever. But it looks cute. They were gonna execute us. We, we barely got off that rock alive. That's the same voice of Cyborg. <laughs> You're talking about starting an interplanetary war. Livingston. Well, what, what makes you think I know anything about Martians. I have to visit uh, the urination chamber. You're weird. You're you're definitely an alien. You are a smart Earth astronaut. <gasps> oh. Everything okay, Russ? After what you all went through up there, no one can blame you for being a little, uh... Quite frankly, Livingston, I don't know how else to say this. Please don't kill me! What? I won't fail you again. Uh, Christ on a Christmas tree. Christ on no a Christmas tree. Anybody. Just saying, go to therapy. You're taking a temporary leave. He seems innocent enough, but I thought he was the bad guy. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> she can completely restructure things. She is such an asset. I love her so much. What the hell do you think you're doing? You scared the piss out of my entire crew. How do I know that's the code? Go stuff your coat up your ass. I live in that building. That's and if it was up to the bureaucrats, we'd be sleeping in high school gyms until Labor Day. Oh, <gasps> I love that she stood up for her. Thank you. Thank you. We can go home now. You know how long I've been begging the city to clean up that mess? Six years. <laughs> She's gonna make an entire garden? A little park? <gasps> she just wants to see people happy. I love Eve so much. Actually, I was just thinking about you and... Wait, is something wrong? Since when do you drink coffee? Since I got my powers. How about we take a little break? I'm thinking beach trip. He's gonna you say, no, he's on call. Somewhere tropical with a 
a fancy hotel. Seriously? Ooh. Call it a graduation present. I love that. I want to. He's not going to be able to relax. Cecil told me the Guardians are working out some issues. Last time I did this on my own, half a city got destroyed. You're a good person. No one thinks you're going to turn out like your father. What the, why would you even say it? Mark, I need you. Thank God. But so does your mom. Your mom needs you too. She's abandoned by both her husband and her son, it feels. I feel so bad for Debbie. Fuck your training, man. People try and kill me every single day. I don't need that shit at home. You're never gonna reach your full potential. <laughs> Kate, is that you? She's with uh, the other guy, I think. All, we are not dating. <sighs> Boo. Boo. Now, I know that look. <sighs> you goddamn geriatric. I'm hippo. sorry. Wait, I didn't expect that. Wait, okay, I didn't expect that. I thought you it and was... I were never a thing. The immortal and I are. Oh, I did not expect that. Do this. We called them heroes. I didn't expect that at all. I thought he was completely professional. It's not. Yikes. Why always the shower? King of Atlantis. I know you lost your job, but the rent's been due for months. Just find a way to pay your bills, or I need you out by the end of next week. We honor the Guardian's fallen green... He's like, I don't even care. Martian Man. Martian Man will always be one of Earth's greatest superheroes. With his gentle nature and kind spirit, Martian Man made This guy Earth also seems home. like a, he has a kind spirit. He just seems very naive and very innocent in a way. But we don't know anything about him, so I don't know. We've had multiple corroborated sightings of Darkwing. So, observe and report. That's why you're Employee of the Month, kid. Midnight City. Been a virtual no man's land since the Midnight Magician cursed it back in 02. We haven't uncursed it by now? Permanent midnight, perpetual darkness. Summer on the dark side of the moon. Now, I wonder how much rent is. Do you think it'd be significantly lower? Please, somebody help me! Oh, uh, yeah, this would be like... The hipsters would love it here. Uh, uh, it's giving Batman uh, vibes. Helping make sure scum like you never hurt another innocent person. Especially since he's like a, a play on, on Batman, essentially, in Gotham. Pretty cool. I like the little parallels that we've seen in Invincible. Darkwing was at my 12th birthday party, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't kill people. I was Night Boy, his assistant. Ooh. Ooh, Rob the Robin. What, you mean sidekick? We don't use that term. He's lost it. You think? You hear them too? Huh? Voices. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not going anywhere with the son of a psychopath. Oh, he's gonna be a problem. Huh? Can't you just fly up? He can't get you when you're in the air. He can't fly. He can teleport, apparently. He just lurks in the shadows. Trippy. Welcome to the Shadowverse. The Shadowverse, got it. I'm saving the world from Omni-Man's son. Let go. You take me back. You would never. So cray cray. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You see, you're not really building a case that you're you're not like Omni-Man. Where were you? You'll have to ask Darkwing's sidekick. I gotta sign off. Something just came up. What can I do for you? Mark almost missed his high school graduation because of you. Mark came to me. You can't just order him around. Well, at least he follows orders. And what if you decide you can't trust him? What then? That won't happen. No dangerous stuff until he's ready. And he calls the shots. Sir, the Mars file you requested. I still don't know how he's alive. I'm, yeah. Donald? Debbie. He got his spine grabbed and then he exploded. So I don't, I, I'm going to need an explanation. Are you and dad fighting again? No, nothing like that. Things have been a little tight lately financially, but we're fine. Samantha. Turn it back, please, before your father gets home. Samantha? Dad? He took a second job. At the furniture store. You've been there for 20 years. Until you people turn the Chicago corporate office into a pile of rubble. You people? I can give you and mom whatever you want. I've provided for this family longer than you've been alive. He's so prideful. 24 karat. You can sell this. Turn and... it back. Change it back. He is so proud. He's like, he has, he's too stubborn. He has too much pride within himself. I can't stand people that are like that. Make dad sell this. Bye. Shouldn't you be off punching things into space? I'm taking you to lunch. Where are we?
Los Angeles. Las Vegas. Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. You only get an hour for lunch, and I can't fly you to Europe that fast without your skin ripping off. You get an A for effort. Mark, I need you. Dinner tonight instead. But she's hungry. Just make sure the voice in your ear isn't the only one you listen to. I'm seeing that this is You're a way too good for me. pretty important trend. Can you get her down from there? Also, I need to take you back to work first. <laughs> okay, I was a little concerned that he would forget and just leave her there. It's a little concern. You're late. Turns out the Atlanteans are sore about Omni-Man murdering their King Aquarius. Atlantean law dictates that his sentence falls to his next of kin. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is where he's gonna lose his virginity. According to Atlantean custom, the only way to atone for the king's murder is to marry his widow. I can't marry a fish. I have a girlfriend. Strictly symbolic. Maybe kiss the bride. Uh... Right, what exactly am I looking at? You're right. So the punishment of killing the king is that the next of kin has to marry the murdered or the murderer's widow. It appears that Supreme Lizard has seized control. This guy looks like a joke. Look at him, look, look, looks like a clown. <laughs> that guy looks like he went to Party City and got that cape, that whole nope. outfit. Not this bullshit again. I'm not doing another me. Who are you? The Shape Smith. <gasps> oh, you're done. Does Things he also usually just weird around here. You have no idea. Uh, that's like not even a punishment. Marrying the widow? I'd be like, if I was the widow, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, I don't want to marry you. You married, you killed my husband. I hate you. You don't get my hand in marriage. It's not how this works. They're happy? Are they happy or are they sad? What's the pick, pick a side? Welcome, son of he who slayed my husband. I'm very sorry for what my father did, but I can't do this. I have a girlfriend. It just wouldn't feel right. To marry someone else. To... What do you speak of? To be your new king? <laughs> Why would I need a king? We abolish that barbaric custom. What do you think we are, savages? So what's a new law? Lay no Trial pipe. by combat. Oh, never mind. Mine was wrong. Mine was so wrong. Oh, I didn't mean to say what I just said. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. But you want me to fight that? Yeah, so cute. Seems a little unfair. Oh, so cute. Oh, I want a pet. <laughs> oh, it's just the top of it. Oh, oh, that's not cute. That's that's ugly and scary. I don't like that. The big crab. Why is it squeak like a squeak toy? Uh, if you're not feeling ready. Paul, let's sell this bitch. <laughs> okay. The living room. I think that would have been one of the first things they saw. It looks like they didn't even know what they were doing. When are you taking offers? Wednesday. Slow down. It's in our price range. We like the location, the school. It's too far from the office. He's a jerk. When you earn the money, you can decide where we live. What a control freak. She's not your pet. It's a partnership. Did we mention the spacious garage? Why don't you all go ahead? He sucks. He's a control freak. And he's a he looks pretty abusive. The way he grabbed his arm in front of people. Imagine how he's in private when she actually causes a problem. She was completely normal. I'm pulling you out. Back up somewhere. Oh, he burped at you. I know it's supposed to be a scream, but I'm gonna pretend it was a burp. Talk to me, kid. How far away is that backup? Incoming. I don't think he deserved to get blown up. He's just doing his job, and you just released it. <laughs> his dad has already done enough damage. That thing got loose. It's killing everyone. They should have thought about that before they brought it home from the store. No, they threatened to destroy Eastern. You're not your father, Mark. Which is why he wouldn't let it happen. That's why I'm going back. bad for him because I don't think he asked to be chained over into like a hole. He never asked for like any of that. So I actually feel really bad for him. You got lucky this time. Atlantis is calling it even since you saved the queen's even. life. Even. Pull up the audio from that fight. 
Give it to the boys in R&D. I want to report in a week. What's the deal with Donald? Sir, when Debbie came to speak with you, she seemed distressed when she saw me. And for the number no one did on her, who knows what's going through her head. You can't keep lying. You can't keep lying to people, Cecil. It'll come out not good. Cecil's got some secrets of his own. He's such a difficult person, it's crazy. I know how hard you work to provide for mom and me. But you gotta get over this stupid man of the house thing. I'm trying to help. Like you help Chicago? <clears throat> the whole lot was unstable. That's why the city never built there. <gasps> it's a miracle nobody was killed. Oh my God. This is what happens when you think rules are just for oh. us pathetic normal people. I have to go. Don't come back until you figure that out. She should go take her mom out though. Her mom is not in a good position, a good situation at all. Don't turn to the wine, that Debbie, no! Motherfucker! Debbie. Your mom needs you, Mark. I feel so bad for her. Oh, poor Debbie. She deserved none of this. Wow. See, he's so naive, but he has like a cute, like, innocence to him. The Guardians could use someone with your talents, but we don't know anything about the Shapesmith. I can tell you. <laughs> he's so funny. He's cute. I was born a baby human right here on the planet he's of lying. Earth. I got my superpowers in a random industrial accident. Not really. Okay, maybe he's not good after all. I knew he was the alien thing, but maybe... Something happened. I swore to use my abilities for good and to help people and to protect my planet. No, he's gonna try and take the planet over. I am a normal human superhero. That's exactly what a what a human would say, huh? Huh? Sounds like Mark Zuckerberg. Like that meme? We are not a joke. Mm -hmm. We are the Lizard League. We are unstoppable. And under my leadership, instead of that fool, King Lizard, we will rise again any day now! Any day now, huh? All hails to the oh. Someone assassinated him? Did not expect that. If anyone is going to turn this organization around, it's going to be King Lizard! You couldn't even kill him in, can in like, 1v1 combat. You had to, you had to kill him? You had to shoot him? What a dirty way to go after someone to take your power back. Who the hell are you anyway? An old friend who can help you, given your current predicament. Oh! After our ultimatum, they ambushed my dad with experimental quantum bombs. Still cost them most of Europe. Then they just wore me down. Brought me when I finally had to sleep. Freeze! Who the hell are you? Different dimension. Different dimension. I'm not your problem. Then whose problem are you? Make him pay for what he did to your world. Gender swap Cecil seems so cool, not gonna lie. Don't leave me here! Hey! Oof. I can't believe that the title of this episode clickbaited us. I really went in thinking that that was what was gonna happen, but it wasn't. I feel like this episode really tried to emphasize the fact that Debbie is not doing okay. Like, her mental health is 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 really taking has taken such a toll she is trying her hardest to get back into the workforce like the last 20 years of her life were a complete lie i can't i can't uh, eve's dad is he gets under my skin i swear also i want to know what's going on with donald how is he alive i feel like it's a clone i feel like it is a clone that's what my gut's saying they have all this technology it has to be a clone and then that donald probably doesn't know he's a clone maybe the mauler twins did something i don't know but we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.